Hey guys, Dusty Baker and Brooks Baker. Welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. We uh, just got to the OG. Just got a whole bunch of rain yesterday. And uh, we're here to check on the herd. Herds. We got calves, got feeder bulls, and of course the Dunbar herd. So that's where we are right now. Say good morning. We're uh, gonna take care of these animals. Kevin is gone this week, so we are, uh, we've got to come over to the OG and uh, get her taken care of. So that's what Brooksy and I are doing. Um, like I said, Kevin usually is over here helping take care of this herd because they live right here on the property. And so he can feed them in the mornings and the evenings and check on them and make sure they're all good to go. So Brooks and I are gonna take care of the calves and then we are going to see the big, the, uh, we're gonna go down to uh, check uh, Dunbar herd. See Dunbar, miss seeing Dunbar. Good old boy. Did you get a cube? Yes. Oh, good. We can feed this to Dunbar. We can feed that to Dunbar. Okay. Hey, no. Yeah. No. She's gone. Yeah. Come on. Look who it is. As you can tell there, uh, the Dunbar herd is up here. They're hanging out. Uh, we've been letting them in here because um, we're still trying to catch Eleanor. <laughs> Eleanor uh, will not come up here in the corral area because she knows that, uh, well, she's at the bottom end of the hierarchy system. I, I kind of got to organize everything. I had to get him uh, situated. I know Kevin probably has to do this, but we've got him in here. So we can try to catch Eleanor at the right time. She is, she is out there. See, here's the rest of the herd and she is out there still in the pasture. This is the lane we tried to catch them in. If you guys notice, here's peaches right here. Uh, the, the main ones that come up here is, you got Dunbar, you've got Kit, you've got uh, peaches, you've got the quad paws that come up here uh the the dominant ones come up here and um they're comfortable with it obviously because they're the more dominant ones uh and of course the big guy here but um we have to do this to try to catch them and what happens is when the big herd gets out of here eleanor will sneak up here and kevin's been feeding a bell of hay up here uh, but when you go to feed the calves and especially when i've got the munchkin there hanging out um you really got to organize everything so I, I can occupy these animals keep brooks in a safe position so i can go feed the calves and this is uh this is the daily life whenever you've got brooks right here um and uh, see the big herd they're going back out into the pasture and eleanor's still out there so what the idea is to do is is to catch um when these guys are not in here and they go out the idea is to catch eleanor 
she'll come in here when they're not in here and so that's the idea is to in the morning in the evening try to catch her when she sneaks up here because she's interested she wants to know if there's feed and there's a fresh bale of hay up here so um, that's the idea is to try to catch her doing Paul Paul Lumpy, what's up, buddy? That good? You guys get a fresh shower? Well, and there you go. Lumpy back there, he's hanging out with these bulls here. He's doing just fine. So we're gonna do a big Joe herd check right now. Miss seeing these guys. I want some cubes. What are you doing, little heifer? Oh, let me show you guys something. Got a new member of the uh, CTB ranch. Kevin dropped off a rooster. The golden nugget. Pretty little guy. Yep, he's running the roost all by himself. Okay. Well, we just got to the Ponderosa and we are back to check the babies. Okay, we gotta clean their water out, clean their feed out. Catch. 
Oh, there's a, they're getting so big. Mine. And there's Maya. Oh. Maya, leave oh. the chicken alone. Suit. Say Suit. Maya. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Also, while we're in here in the barn, I wanted to show you guys my new bay lights that I got. These are heavy duty. It's LED, of course, but as uh, I've already put some up, I've got one, two, and three put up. And I mean, I've only got three in this barn, and it's made a huge difference in here. Um, I'm going to put some more up in here. I've learned how to be an electrician. Um, over time but these hobby lights are awesome and uh, it's really easy because it is plug-in yep you basically can use this and you can wrap it around and hang it however you would like to basically wrap around the C perlin as you can see there I've got another outlet getting ready to be put in that I'm running um, these uh, from link to link here and I'm gonna put another light there there obviously in the dark places it goes over and around and I just hang it basically from the seat perlin and it works great and you just plug it in that's the awesome thing about it if you have any other issues you can always unplug it so that means I'll have a outlet up there and uh, an extra plug-in as well so I still do have a lot of work to do you can uh, see a strand right there of some conduit running across there but I am happy and I do recommend the Cineton high bay lights you know, I'm used to getting the long LED lights that you can typically put in the barn. And there's nothing wrong with those. We have them at the OG. But with these lights, um, they're so much brighter. Uh, they create a whole bunch of light the higher you go. So I've got eight of them to put in through the rest of the barn. But uh, definitely recommend Cineton. Well, looky there. Mr. Haas waiting on me. Probably wants to be fed. I've been feeding them out of these, uh, their trough liners is what I've been using them out of. Um, the only bad part about them is obviously they blow off, but I have to go get them. But not a big deal. Um, and then also on the rubber, I do clean that off for them. Uh, I've got a broom, I clean it off and I pour feed out for all of them. Just trying to get these guys to hold on before we let them out on green grass because they are about to head out. Now that we got the fence done, and we're able to rotate these guys out. I and mean, they're basically gonna replace the big Joe herd where they were. But we're trying to give our pastures some recovery time. Well, we are gonna hop in one of Brooks's favorite things to do and ride in is the uh, skid steer. We're gonna hop in the New Holland and uh, we, uh, we are going to actually, um, remember the burning? Uh, we did some burning. Um, you guys remember that? We're gonna go down to the pasture 
and uh, push up a bunch of logs and stuff and see if um, basically any of that stuff um, once you repile it, if it'll keep burning, especially the big logs. So we're going to go down there and push up the logs and all of the burn piles and check them and see how they're doing. Just got a bunch of rain yesterday that's why we were doing some burning but it's uh, nice to start seeing these ponds get some water in them i really need to clean these ponds out they need to be like i need an excavator out here to clean them up because i used to fish these ponds when i was a kid and used to catch a bunch of bass in these ponds but they've silted in over time and we need to we need to clean them out and get them deeper so we can actually restock these ponds because this is one of the ones over the summer uh, before we purchased the property and even into the fall they got really really dry almost completely dry so things we, there's a lot of things we want to do these ponds we want to clean them out and we want to restock them so we'll keep you updated with that uh, baby chick found his spot or her spot hopefully a her on the uh, back of the skids here brooks uh found a baby frog and uh came back with an extra member um, and this gets here, so. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll, we'll see you next time, guys.